so the debate on the correct way of cooking rice is still happening. But I'm not gonna get into that. A quick skillet of fried rice is one that everybody loves. It's delicious and full of flavors and different textures. It can be a side dish or even dish on its own. What more can you ask for? Let's start cooking. I'm going to use a wok and I'm going to turn on the heat to medium. I'm going to add Baguio pure coconut oil. Add the onions. Garlic. Ginger. Okay. And you just stay just for a few seconds. Mm, it smells so good. It's so aromatic. I'm going to add the carrots and I'm going to add a little bit of water so that the carrots will cook faster. And continue to cook until the carrots are tender. the ground pork and you continue to cook until the pork is brown and starting to caramelize okay I'm just going to season the pork with salt and pepper. The pork is starting to caramelize, so I'm just gonna scrape the bottom of the pan. Okay, before I add the rice, I'm going to add a little bit of oil again. Okay. I'm going to add our cooked rice. Leftover rice is the best when you cook fried rice, okay? So by doing this, you're trying to separate the grains. And also try to avoid using hot rice when making fried rice because they will get mushy easily when you cook them. Okay, so make sure you scrape the bottom of the pan so that you won't burn your fried rice. Okay. So I'm just going to lower the heat and then before I add the sauce, I'm going to mix the hoisin and soy sauce. And then you pour the sauce all over the rice. And then mix it fast. Just continue mixing it until the rice is even in color. 
Okay, so I'm going to lower the heat. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil on one side. I'm creating a space on this side. And then I'm going to add the eggs. Okay. And then you let it sit for a few seconds before you scramble the eggs. Okay. The eggs are starting to set, so we try to scramble them. And then we're going to toss the eggs over the rice. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Wait. I'm going to add the spring onions. Green peas. You add it at the last minute of cooking because green peas cooks very fast and you don't want it mushy. Wow, the color is so perfect. And then I'm just gonna check the seasoning if it needs more salt. Just a little bit of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Just a little. Now for the last part, I'm just gonna add some sesame oil. And then continue to stir it again. Okay, our pork fried rice is ready and the texture of the rice is really beautiful. So, I'm going to taste it using a clean spoon. I'm going to turn up the heat. Hmm. Enjoy every spoonful of this pork fried rice. The perfect ratio of rice, meat, and vegetables allows you to really taste each of their flavors. It's so good.